In this video, we will discuss how to set up an FESS or FES uh, with Elasticsearch server for Windows. And this here server is site, sorry, is open source. Uh, you will download FES 13.16.0 and Elasticsearch. When you click on the download, you're going to go to the zip, download the zip file, go back to the file here. You want to get Elasticsearch 7162 and click on Windows. And what you will also need is a Java JDK 11. Okay. We're going to go here. One look for your JDK, the Windows installer. You'll just log in with your account. It's a free account you set up with the Java website. And here we go. So these three downloads we will need. Let's pull up three downloads we just grabbed. Okay. Oh, wrong folder. So we have downloaded the FES 1316, the Elasticsearch, and the JDK. So now what you want to do is you want to open up your vm you give it a browser and you open up your vm on your vm before you power it on you want to make sure you have shared files enabled and you want to do your downloads folder as a share into your vm and once you do that you will then go to shared folders and you'll see downloads and this is where your files will be the fest elastic search and jdk so I've already copied them onto the local VM. So we will do that here. So I put Elasticsearch, FES, and I did an open logic, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use these. So you unzip them. So right click, extract all. So go here and right click, extract all. That'll go here as well. So now what we want to do is a prerequisite for installing Java is you want to go to the control panel. And you want to go to system and you want to go to advanced system settings environment variables and you need to install you need to set up two variables so you say new and you want to type es underbar java home and then do new again and type java underbar home and then what you want to do is you will click browse directory and you're going to go once you install, you're going to go to your program files here. So before you do that, you need to install the Java in order to get to it. So from here, go to our downloads. And we want to run. Always right click and run as administrator when you run it in Windows. Just ensure that the install goes well. Now it's already been there. I'm going to reinstall it just to show you. Now what this is going to do is install it in your program files Java folder, JDK. So what you want to do now is you want to make sure you have your ES Java and you want to say browse the directory. You want to go to your proper directory. Just choose the JDK and the same thing with the Java home, same path. Once you have those variables in there, you can click OK, OK, and close this. And now you will install FES. So once you've, un you've unzipped them into the folders, you have here and here, you need to run a command line. So you right click on your start, go to command prompt admin, and now you want to do some commands. So you want to say CD, right? CD, and you want to do elastic, so you type EL, and hit hit space it'll get you the rest of the word and now we're in there you want dir and you want to go cd bin dir and now what you want to do is type elastic and tab until you see elastic service you keep tabbing until you get the elastic service 
And once you get the service pad, see space, install, hit enter. It's going to install. And as it see, sees here, because we've already put the ES Java, it's going to use that. Well, now what we want to do is we want to CD backslash, back, uh, sorry, CD dot, CD fess, hit enter, DIR, CD bin, DIR, and you want to type fess. And what you could do here is just actually take service, service, dot bat space install. And you see now it's installed. Now what we want to do is type services. MSC. And you want to go here and, and check to see if the Elasticsearch engine is installed. Which is right here. And there should be another one called FES right here. Now what I recommend if you're going to run this as a search server is we want to go here and change this to automatic. So this way every time you reboot the machine, it will automatically start. So let's start the service. Okay, that one is running. Same thing with FES. You want to change this to automatic, apply, and start. And that now sets up the FES service is running. Get rid of this. And let's go to the control panel again. And because this machine will be running the web services of this FES Elasticsearch server, this is more like a Google search tool. We can just go here and I've created a rule. So you just say a new rule. You want to see port next. And the port is 8080. And then do com 443 and port comma 80. That will open up the three ports you need. And then I'm going to call it webs two. Or you could just say fess. This way you know what it's for. Now what that does is open up those ports. So when you're off the machine, you can get there. So what we need to do now is get the IP of our machine. So IP config. And it is 76. So let's pull up a browser. 192.168.0.76 and let's do colon 8080 and it should come up with the services there you go so this is what this can be used for is this can be used for if you want to crawl something so if you have an intranet page that has a search you can actually install a search page in your intranet and then have it come here and then you could type uh, any any type of search you want to grab that data from your web your website that you have internally what you need to do first thing is you need to go in as admin and when you type admin and then admin would get you in again now i've already changed my password from this earlier so i'm going to see if the password i set before here and there you go so once you set the password as min as min, it will ask you to change the password and then it takes you into the configuration. Now this configuration, once you go into crawler, and let's say web, you can have it search a file system, you can search anything you want. So let's say if we do file system, we can actually say create. And we can say files, path, we can say And then create. It's now if it actually have to be a path, like a network path. But let's do webs. So let's say you you have a website, right? Uh, let's say test this. So let's say your URL was this. Once you type in that, you can then tell to search that site and start bringing up anything to do. 
So what this will do now is go out and start crawling this site and pick up keywords. So now if we go back to here, type in uh, school, for instance. And this will go out and pull from the crawled data and look for the word school. Now, of course, it hasn't got any data yet because it's going to take a while for it to crawl. But that's just an example to show you what it's for. So there is a lot of information on this Elasticsearch and this FES. If you go to the FES documentation, you can go through all the documentation on how to install, but really, it doesn't really go into deep detail on how to install. I'll create another video which will get us to install it on Linux as well. Uh, but I thought I'd show the one common, non common version is running this on a, uh, a Windows machine. And if you do here, you go localhost 8080 and I'm going to try and go on the internet. To HTTP local host 8080 and there you go so there it is on the server itself so if you don't set that rule you won't be able to get to the that's why we set up a rule here and then get the machine from here you just do fast it comes here now there is other ways to go in and configure this to make this a little more um, custom to your needs you can actually change this image change this wording change the set settings here so we can have it sort whichever way it finds them and we can do all kinds of things in here exact words we could do all kinds of search changes as well but i just wanted to just show a quickie on how to set up a fest server in windows thank you for watching